Hello and welcome to the first lesson on building a Wagtail website. In this video, we're going to install Wagtail using pipenv. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to wagtail.io and they actually have install instructions. And these instructions are so perfect that we don't actually need to do anything else except follow these seven steps. So here we have try Wagtail in seven lines. And this is exactly what we're going to follow. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And so I've just got my terminal here and I want to make sure that we're all on the same page here. So I'm going to type pip dash V and you will see that I'm using Python 3.7. Now you can use Python 3.5 or 3.6. Uh, I just got the latest Python. So no big deal there. First, we actually need to make sure that Wagtail is installed. So we do pip install Wagtail. There we go, Wagtail's installed. Now, just to double check, we can do it a pip freeze, pipe, grep, and then type Wagtail. And we have Wagtail 2.4 currently installed on our computer. Now, this is not inside of a pip env or a virtual env or anything. This is actually on my computer. Now, to get a Wagtail site set up, all we have to do is type Wagtail start my site. Uh, but I'm going to go into a directory where I want to keep all of my websites. So if I cd into Websites, I just made a folder called websites, and then I can type wagtail start my site. My site is the name of the website. So if you have a custom blog or a custom name for your website, use that name. Don't use my site. But for this demo, we're going to use the, uh, the name my site. And look at that project has been created. So let's do an ls dash la. And I can see that there's a folder in there called my site. So I cd into that ls-la, and I've got a bunch of files in there. Go to Docker file, home, my site, search requirements, and manage.py. Cool. So at this point, what we don't see in the instructions is how to use a pipenv or virtual env or installing with Docker. So in this lesson, we're going to be using pipenv and we're actually going to type pip env shell and that just creates a new pip environment for us. And now we can see if we look over here, we can see that we are in some sort of environment. Now this is good for separating your Python packages from your system so that you can have multiple projects going on at the same time and you're not going to get package conflicts or, or dependency conflicts with different package or dependency versions. Now we run pip install install dash r requirements.txt and we just let that run. All right, so through the power of editing, you actually didn't see all of that get downloaded, but you should have seen a bunch of stuff show up in your terminal. So assuming everything went well there, you have Wagtail 2.4 installed or whatever the most current version is. And then all we have to do is run some migration. So we run Python 3 manage.py migrate. And this will set up your local database with this project. So you can see it's running a bunch of migrations already. Everything looks good there. Next, we need to create a super user. And this super user is how you actually get into your admin section because if you've ever used a content management system, you know that you can't get into your management system. You can't log in without some sort of username and password. So we're going to type python3 manage.py create super user. It's gonna ask me if I want to use a name. I'll just use Caleb, Caleb at learnwagtail.com. Password, just some password, another localhost password. Super user created successfully. Cool. So we've now run migrations. Our database is set up. We have a new user in there. Let's run the server and actually get this thing set up so that we can see it in our browser. So we do Python 3 manage.py run server. And that is it. Assuming that I could type manage properly. There we go. So in here we can see using Django version 2.15 and I'll show that to you in here. I'll highlight that 2.15 using settings, mysite.settings.dev. So this is our development environment. 
Uh, starting development at 127.0.0.1. This is the equivalent of localhost on port 8000. So let's open this up in a browser. And all I'm going to do is create a new tab, go to localhost port 8000. And voila, we have a brand new Wagtail site. Now this is technically the entire video. You have Wagtail set up and running. Now, if you want to get into your admin interface, you can click the link at the bottom right where it says admin interface, or just go to localhost port 8000 slash admin. Type in the username that you made. I'm going to type in mine. And voila, we are inside of Wagtail. Now, just like that, we are set up and up and running with a new install of Wagtail CMS using a pip environment. If you like this video and you're interested in learning other things from Wagtail, always check out wagtail.io. They have great docs or head on over to learnwagtail.com.